Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I'd like to determine if this value, the word Hilton, can be found in New York, Chicago, and LA in those three lists. And I'd like to then propagate that down or fill it down with the names from all three of the lists to determine if the item is found in all three. So if you want to pause the video and set up some sample data, go right ahead and we'll pick it up. Okay. Uh, if we use the match function with uh, here in cell F2, we can determine if the word Hilton is found at all in the New York City column. So we'll do equals match open paren. E2 is my lookup value, comma. My lookup array is column A. I'll use the entire column just in case we add more values to that column later. And then comma zero for exact match. Okay, so if the word Hilton is found anywhere in column A, and we can see that it is, that returns the number. It shows me that that value 2, uh, in other words, the word Hilton is found in the second position in that column. Okay, well, I also want to know if it's found also in Chicago. And so I am going to check in column B instead. So if I change the reference from column A to column B, then we get the pound in A message. Okay, So when the match function does not find the value, it doesn't generate a zero. It actually generates the pound in A error. Well, that's going to help us because what we can do now is we can take uh, the match function, E2, comma, column A, comma, zero, which we know returns a value of two because Hilton is found in the second row. And we add that to uh, the match function, but referencing column B. And then I'll add to that the match function referencing column C. So match, open paren, E2, comma, column C, comma, zero, close paren, and then add. <clears throat> so if you look here in the uh, formula bar, I'm adding the results of three match functions. Well, we know that when we tried to match it in the Chicago column, column B, it returned the pound in A error. So when you try to add pound in A to a numeric value, your result will be pound in A. So the only way we don't get pound in A is if the value is found in all three locations. So for example, if I change this to Hyatt, then you actually get a number because it's found in position three or uh, in the LA column, uh, position 7 in the Chicago column, so that's 10, and it's also in position 3 in the New York column, so that's 13. So what we now know is that if the hotel is found in all three cities, the result of adding the match function from all three columns would be a number. If it's missing from either of the three, it gives us a pound in A for one of these match functions, which means our final result will be pound in A. So now, knowing that, we can take this formula and we can modify it. So we'll say uh, if open paren is in A. So the is in A function uh, lets me test to see if the result of adding these three matches together will result in an in A. Okay. <clears throat> so we do a close paren on our is in A, comma. So if it is in A, that means that at least one of the columns doesn't contain Hyatt. So we could then say that our answer is no, it is not in all three cities. However, if it's not in A, that means the result returned by adding the three match functions uh, is a numeric value. That means it's found in all three. So we could say yes, it is found in all three cities. That's it. We have if a function containing an is in A around the addition of three separate match formulas. So in the case of Hyatt, it is in all three cities, <clears throat> and, uh, we, and we know that that works. So now what we can do is we can take the New York data, I'll copy it, and paste it right here. And of course we're seeing no for Hilton. I'm going to copy the Chicago data and paste it underneath. And finally I'll take the LA data, copy it, and paste it underneath. <clears throat> now I have some repetition of course so I'm going to select this range of cells. I'll go to the data tab of my ribbon 
and choose remove duplicates now when you click remove duplicates it recognizes that you have data adjacent I don't want to expand the selection meaning I don't want it to consider the values in column F uh, when checking for duplication because if it did I'd have two versions of Hilton one with data next to it and a version without so you just say continue with the current selection so the remove duplicates feature evaluates the selected cells uh, uh, by themselves without any other data next to it being part of the evaluation so we choose remove duplicates and I click OK and so it removes six duplicate values 11 unique values remain and so now I can double click and fill down and we can see that Hyatt, Marriott, Weston are the three that are found in all three cities. Now again, if we were to use conditional formatting, we could help highlight that. So, in fact, I'll highlight uh, E2 through F uh, through F12, and uh, I'll go to my Home tab. I'll choose conditional formatting, and I'll say New Rule. I'm going to create my own custom formatting rule where I'll say use a formula to determine which cells to format. So we'll say uh, equals dollar sign uh, F2, or yeah, dollar sign F2. We want to anchor the reference to column F since we have more than one column uh, selected, but only column F contains the criteria that we're looking for. So we say dollar sign F2 equals yes. So we want to format those cells or those rows between E and F where column F says yes. And I'll choose my format here and maybe I'll make the cells bold and I'll do uh, a green fill color. So we click OK and OK. And so now you can see the ones where it is yes, uh, we have the green color. So now if I add, say, uh, Hampton Inn to New York City, so we'll say uh, Hampton Inn and uh, I'll also add it to Chicago. It's now found in all three, and so the conditional formatting turns on uh, for those cells. Now, in a similar vein, if I were to click on uh, Marriott in Chicago and maybe change that to uh, Red Roof Inn, <clears throat> then Marriott is no longer found in all three cities. Now, of course, red roof is not in our list here in column E because, well, we copied and, and, and pasted that data and removed the duplicates. But you see how the check can work. So the match function will return a number if the value is found, a pound in A message if the value is not found. Adding those together would result in a pound in A if either of the three had a pound in A. And that's how we can test with the is in A function to see if the value is found in all three locations. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for tuning in, and please come back soon for more Excel videos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.